Have you ever Googled what's the best time of day or day of week to generate a sale? Hi guys, I'm Ed Leak and today I'm going to talk about day parting and looking through your AdWords data, how to an identify and answer that very question. Uh, this question actually came about and the idea for this video from a, a client who requested that we turn off their AdWords at um, certain days and certain times of the week and I wanted to look through their data and make sure that we weren't doing that based on assumptions. So I'm now in the AdWords account in question and I'm on the Dimensions tab. So what I want to do is drop into the, the drop down over here and go to time and day of week. And what you can see is you get your week, uh, each day of the week, uh, including weekends. And it gives you a really quick overview of, you know, your key metrics essentially. But you'll notice here, I've got all conversions and conversion, uh, converted clicks. So there's a disparity. And this is a question that I've been asked before. Why are all conversions higher than converted clicks? We typically use converted clicks for most accounts because they, they're trying to consider a single visit as a conversion, even if there's multiple actions. So for example, if I click on an advert, I come to your website, I activate the chat facility to, have a, a, you know, to ask a question about your product or service, and you're tracking that conversion, that will go into the all conversions column. If you then you know, check out, buy a product, or pick the phone up and you're tracking phone calls, that will be added to the to the conversion total. However, it was one visit. So for us, a lot of the time, the most accurate thing to do is look at converted clicks. Okay, and this, this account's um, target CPA, or cost per conversion, is actually 20 pounds, 20 pounds sterling, should I say. Saturday is already over, but that's for all of Saturday. Let's look at the dropdown again and go to time, hour of day. And then you get a view of each hour in the day. But again, this, this can throw up some problems because you've got, you're taking into account every single day of the week here. And then all of a sudden your conversion values are starting to go all over the place. So let's get a bit more clarity on these numbers. Um, what we want to do is download this data. And because we're on hour of day, we want to segment it by day of week. So we go to time, day of week, grab that download, and then open that in Excel. Okay, so now we've got the data in Excel. We want to highlight all fields, all cells. Uh, go to Insert and Pivot Table. And that's just confirming the range. Click OK. Uh, then we want to construct the pivot table. So there's three components here. Uh, day of week in your... Uh, I'm going to do that in columns, actually. Beg your pardon. Um, day of week, columns, hour of day in the rows section. And then I'm interested in cost converted clicks. So I just want to edit that field setting to be sum, which gives us the absolute value. Um, and then just quickly tidy this up. So to click the drop down on the first column here and remove any blank. There we go. And for the weekdays, so we just don't want the total or the blank, we just want the weekdays here. Um, I also like, for some reason, I, I don't like the uh, table touching the side of the sheet. Oh, yeah, weird. Don't know why. Um, we want to get rid of these grand totals because they're meaningless to us. So go to the design tab at the top and off. And that just tidies it up. But even so, this is quite a lot of data to analyze as is. So let's highlight the days, an hour of days. Go to conditional formatting and let's put a, a, a sort of color scale on here. So we're going from red down to green because red being. Uh, high cost, which we don't want. I'm also going to just tidy this up a little bit like that, centralize it, it's a bit easier. You'll probably find this, if you've got any zero conversion data or naught, if you're British like me, some noughts in here, um, it's going to skew this conditional formatting because it's, it's done on a, a percentile basis. So let's just sort that out so it's more visually useful, more visually appealing to us. Double click that. So as I said, uh, cost per acquisition on this account is 20. So I'm going to set that as the midpoint. I'm going to set the lowest values in percentile. So I'm going to go for the bottom sort of 15%. So that bumps the color range up. Uh, so these, these zeros don't take too much um, sway over that. And the same at the top end to compensate. So I'm going to do 85. 
Um, there's no rule of thumb to this. This is this is visualization essentially. So you'll see what happens if you see now. We've got a much clearer view, and immediately Saturday and Sunday are not looking too good, are they? And I should and also as you can see here across this uh, row we've got um, 6 a.m. Across every single day of the week, 6 a.m. is underperforming. We're over our target of £20 uh, cost per conversion. So what would I do with this data? Well, oh yeah, crikey, look at that, midnight. That's not, not, not a very good time of day for this, this account. Um, this account is limited by budget. So I would immediately scrap the weekends personally. Um, there's a couple in here that are, you know, that are under, but compared to the rest of the week, it's it's clear that the weekend is it's pretty safe to to disable your ads on the weekend. And in, in addition, 6 a.m. is not looking too great either. There's a there's a few other refinements we can do here, in that Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Thursday and Friday, we can actually start this account sorry, start those days an hour later than the rest because they're not looking too good. And you'll see some other little issues. We've got weird one. Well, not weird. Friday, 7 o'clock, everyone's going home, surely. So, sorry, 5 o'clock. Um, conversions do actually pick back up there, which is interesting. People get home, can't wait to convert. Brilliant. So we've got this data. We've now visualized it and we understand it. And there's a clear course of action in that we, we need to sort out these, uh, these timings. And this is where we go back to the schedule in your account and tweak to suit. Okay, so I've just jumped back into the, the AdWords account here. And I want to go to the settings and add schedule. And actually, I, this wasn't planned, by the way. I haven't looked at this account. But we if we just jump back to our data. So we saw that um, 6 a.m. in particular across the whole week and 7, with well, with the exception of Friday. But let's say 6 and 7 because uh, this account is limited by budget. So we want to move that budget into the stronger areas. Six and seven, we're, we're failing this account. And if we just jump back in here, it looks like my team's actually moved this, uh, moved the goalpost on me because this is actually now 8 a.m. Um, but you'll see here, total remove. So historically, there was some spend in those uh, alternative time ranges. But that's good. So we're on top of it. Um, however, the one thing we aren't on top of is the weekend. Again, we've got Saturday and Sunday running here. Jumping back to our spreadsheet, we can see that Saturday and Sunday are, are pretty rubbish, let's face it. Now, this is a business case for you. You know, do, do you want phone calls, emails, transactions at the weekend? Fair enough. This client kind of does, but I think we could argue to them, actually, unless they want to spend more because they're budget limited in the week, we're better off, you know, letting them have a quiet weekend, which they probably appreciate, and getting more conversions in the week. So we could literally jump in here uh, and remove those, but I'm going to discuss it with them first. Yeah, this is live. Um, the other thing I need to warn you of, don't start making too many changes too soon. I, I'd go for a, a more broad strokes approach, so finding uh, particular hour ranges or day ranges that just don't work and remove those because they will have a knock-on effect to your remaining active hours of day, day of week. So just, you know, baby steps. Also, when you change your ad schedule, this, this button's a little bit misleading because it says, you know, plus ad schedule. So when I do that, what this is actually showing me is the current live ad schedule. So if I remove these in here, thinking that, oh, I just want to add in a something for Tuesday and I'll remove the rest and save it, you will overwrite your live schedule. So you need to add to this. And another thing as well, let's say I wanted to um, bid up Monday at 2 a.m. for whatever reason. You've then got to set a pre-2 a.m. period and a post-12 a.m. period on your Monday. So you'd have essentially have... Um, two or more Monday schedules and what that allows you to do is you'd get an additional time slot in here which you could increase or decrease bids and that's when you go really granular so you're literally selecting you know certain regions of the day where you're increasing your your bids to suit this so for example there's a, there's a few areas in here that are excelling like um, what is this 10 a.m. looks pretty good even through to 
sort of 11, 12. So you could take that region um, across Monday through to Wednesday and add a schedule in to suit. But, you know, that's going quite granular. Pick out these dirty red points first that are wasting your money and sort those out and then come back and do this this whole scenario, you know, a few months down the line once you've had time to, to collect the data. And that's it. And that answers the question of what's the best time of day and day of week to convert. So don't Google it. Don't listen to best practices. Don't listen to other people because they're not looking at your data. Use your own data. It takes 10, 15 minutes of your time at the most, even if you're, you know, you're not a, an Excel aficionado uh, to identify the facts based on your business. And that's important. There's, there's a lot of conjecture out there, a lot of best practices that just don't suit everyone. So do that and uh, listen to yourself, listen to your own data. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I appreciate any likes, shares and of course drop any comments in if you need any assistance. I'm here to help. Until next time, catch you then. Cheers.